Hello everyone and welcome to this week's edition of OVC Sports on the Court presented by the Williamson Source at WilliamsonSource.com. I'm Steve Peek. And I'm JT Wiskowski and we got a lot to get to today. The OVC getting competitive, getting hot. Let's get to it. Let's go. First up, we have EIU at UTM. And right here, Marsha Newell bangs in the three to make it 43 to 30. EIU is on upset alert. But then Josh, don't call me Roddy Piper, hits a jumper to cut the lead to 54 to 53. A few minutes later, Piper sending it down the pipes and gives the EIU the lead 59 to 57. And then Sherman Bland, okay, Sherman Blandford puts the exclamation point on it to make it 77 to 64. And EIU would go on to win 91 to 70. One of the premier games of the week, it was Belmont hosting Murray State at the Curb Center. What a game this ended up being, but here in the first half, TJ Sapp, go get you a dunk, young man, with the pose. It was a tight game in the first half, but then the second half, Blake Jenkins, 25 points for him, season high, and then Belmont starts doing what Belmont always seems to do, hitting threes, driving to the basket, finishing, and next thing you know, it was the Bruins who had a 10-point lead with just 60 seconds to play. The back comes Murray State. TJ Sapp hits a three. Murray State trying to rally to get back into this one. And then Cameron Payne splashes home a three. Next thing you know, it's a three-point game. Belmont with the ball. Here's Murray State's Neil Bradley with the call. By Sapp. Sapp shoots a three to tie at the buzzer. Oh, he missed Murray it. State so close to a miracle comeback and almost sending it in overtime, but it's Belmont winning the game 99-96. to So now Belmont a half game up in the OVC with the win 99-96, and the game lived up to expectations. Yeah, absolutely, and uh, Belmont played play, play the game of their lives probably because it was uh, just, just wow. Murray State played very well, but Belmont just shooting out of their minds and uh, very played very well inside the paint as well. Yeah, Blake Jenkins, where'd he come from? He <laughs> averaged like 7.3 points a game going, going in. He had almost 20 by the end of the first half. Yeah, that, that guy was, uh, he was the catalyst in the game. There's no doubt about it. Uh, if, if Belmont doesn't have his 21 points, um, he's, uh, well, they lose. Plain yeah, simple. Yeah, they, they do. I mean, he really owned Jarvis Williams. I was shocked. I thought Jarvis could hold his own down there, and all of a sudden Blake Jenkins is getting uh, just simple move. I mean, drop, step, finish, just nice move to the basket, and Jarvis had nothing nothing he could do. But the thing that really shocked me was how this game was it was hyped up by ESPN. It was hyped up by both schools. Yet only 3,000 plus in attendance in a 5,000 seat arena. I just thought that that's too small of a crowd for a game of this caliber. Yeah, especially in Nashville. That, that's the thing. This is in a major city, and you can't fill it up. There's a problem there. Yeah, this like I said, there's not a more fun team to watch than Belmont in the Ohio Valley Conference. Put all if you are an Ohio Valley if you pull for Ohio Valley Conference team, put that bias aside and yeah. just watch Belmont play. They're so fun to watch. Yeah, and, and um, they, they do a good job of shooting, putting the ball on the floor, getting to the basket, and they're, they're such a complete team except for the rebounding category. Murray State still wins that category, Yeah, and Murray they lose. State, Murray State outshot Belmont from three and yeah. out rebounded, and they still lost. It's amazing. <laughs> but what I'm saying about Belmont is they're able to drive and kick. They're able to drive, get to the basket. They're, Blake Jenkins plays well down low. J.J. Mann can shoot it. Drew Windler plays inside and outside. So they're very fun to watch. I think they deserve a little bit more support than what they're getting from their own fans. I would love to see the Curb Center up to capacity, about 5,000 people in there in a rowdy environment. That's the way it should have been on Thursday, and it didn't happen. I was a little disappointed in that. Okay, so on to more games going on on Saturday. Tennessee Tech was at Jacksonville State, and Nick Cook takes it in, goes up, puts it down, and he cuts the lead to 42 to 40, Tennessee Tech. And then Dewan Caldwell getting the tough jumper to go, and Tennessee Tech up by 10. Dennis Ogby rattles home the three, and the lead's up to 16. And Tennessee Tech goes on to win, and now is only a game and a half behind in third place, and Steve, they're on the up and up, and they're uh, grinding their way to the top. Yeah, we talked about them in one of our other segments that we did for the show, and that was that we, they were surprising some people. I think they were 3-1 at the time, and they were picked to finish last, so it was kind of, kind of a surprise there, but since then, they lost four in a row. 
and we started thinking, well, here they go. They're going to back to the bottom where they should be, but now they've won. They have two nice wins in a row, like you said, a game and a half out of third. But the remaining schedule is what's really frightening for the Golden Eagles. I mean, probably the <laughs> toughest remaining six games that anybody in the conference has to play. They got to play Moorhead State twice. Yeah, and EKU. And EKU yeah. has been one of the biggest teams in the OBC. So on Saturday, Belmont hosting Austin P. Right here we have the pass down low and JJ Mann cutting to the basket and finishing the layup. Bruins lead by four at 33-29. Once again, it's JJ Mann. This time at the top of the key, puts a dribble down, fires and hits it. The lead is up to 11. Now we go to the second half. Just under 10 minutes to play, Drew Windler gets open for the three, knocking it down, and Belmont goes on to win 93-68, to staying atop the OVC. And that'll do it for this week's edition of OVC Sports on the Court, presented by the Williamson Source. Check it out at williamsonsource.com. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and we'll see you next week. Thank you for watching. Good job. Good job.